Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to my Sunday night stream. I hope everybody is well this fine, fine Sunday evening. And I trust everybody has had a wonderful weekend. We are currently hiding somewhere in Boralus on our beautiful Brutusil Mount. We are going to check on the mail and then decide what we're going to do today. A few different things I could possibly do today. I could organise my groups. I could do some world quests now that we've opened those up. And I could try and progress some more quest lines. I could try and work on my gear somewhat, some more. See if I can get my eye level up a bit higher. Ah, Nori, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you've had a good weekend. Just kind of thinking about what I'm going to be doing this evening. A um, number of things I'm thinking of. Maybe a bit of PvP as well. Could be interesting. Want to make sure I keep getting those marks of honour. Um, ah, Lord Lux, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I was also thinking about um, the Brawlers Guild thing as well. That's another thing I haven't done yet. Alright, let's pop everything on. Uh, I've got all your tailoring skills maxed. I uh, just need to learn the patterns. Have BFA enchanting at 6. Nice. Uh, hold on. Uh, reply. Nice. Well, yeah. Uh, also need to do PvP. Um, it's the bonus weekend, so we get five marks extra if you do the quest. Oh, really? What quest is that? Is there something I need to do? Um, Honor gained wins is increased. Uh, ah, Catroso and Spammer, how are you both? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you've had good weekends so far. Not quite over yet. We're just in the tail end here of Sunday. Um, probably worth having a look at my mail first. There's a mailbox just over here. Just doing some auction house stuff. Excellent. Good thing to be doing. Let's have a look. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. I've had a very good weekend. Spent lots of lovely time with the family, so really, really enjoyed that. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, it looks like everything's expired since I was last on. So let's move this along and take our expires. And then we'll repost everything on. Thankfully, with my free bag space and my cleaned out groups, it is somewhat easier to just run through these. I'll just do a quick reload, pop back on those, get another load on, see where we land after this. I'm not sure what kind of sales I might have made since Friday over the weekend. I was on briefly yesterday, uh, just to try, oh, oh, this morning actually it was, just to try a few different world quests and try a bit more of the questing side of things. Let's take these expires. It's quite enjoying the quest line at the moment. I did my first emissary one and I've also upgraded my gear a little bit. The main thing I've been doing is using any of my epic honorable combatants gear and upgrading any of my item to 310 if I can. I think I'm up to something like 295 item level now. So anything I can get from world quests or other things to try and get that up to 340 will be useful. We'll see how things land with everything once I've done my mail first. I'm just going to run through the expires first. See how everything goes. So what's everyone else been up to this weekend? Any good sales or good markets or pretty much just enjoying the game? Right, how much have I got left? Uh, that's it, pretty much full, so let's post that lot on. Got a runner train. post scan. See what we've got. Now, what else do I need to do? Bountiful Captain's Feast weren't looking in a particularly good place at the moment. 1984 crafting cost, which is actually what the market value is at the moment. So, we just need to get some more rank 3s on those, which is why I'm working on my Tortolan Seekers uh, reputation at the moment. Uh, good evening, uh, Crazy Pink Iguana. How are you? 
Hope you've had a good weekend. Glad you could stop by. We had just literally started, so we haven't gone through all the mail yet. We're just reposting everything on first. So you got me at the beginning. Uh, you had a couple of Hygel bags and other worldly bags out. Okay. Um, went for over 7.5k each. Nice. The Hygel bags are pretty good for that. Um, I don't think I've had much with the other worldly bags. I haven't tried putting those on in a while. But uh, the Hygel ones I do get occasional sales of, so those are good. Uh, good evening, Mushy. How are you? How's your weekend been? Did you manage to get your your last token for the uh, virtual ticket? I imagine you did. I haven't. I haven't myself. I'm only at uh, 353,000, so I only got half of what I would need to get enough tokens for a ticket. But I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to carry on enjoying the game. See what lands. See what kind of sales I get. Just going to post everything on tonight first, and then we'll have a look at what's available, what quests I've got to do, what other bits and pieces I could possibly do, whether I need to restock on anything. <clears throat> Last time we did spend quite a lot of time just uh, trying out different things um, for restocking, um, which was good fun, but it was quite a lot of uh, squirrels to chase that way. Yeah. Can't do mailbox before you're here. <laughs> no, absolutely. We're not quite there yet, so the mailbox is still to come. Uh, you're trying to snipe yesterday and got four pets real cheap. Oh, excellent. Are you going to move those to a different server or try and sell them on your own server? You got the token at like 8 p.m. Ah, oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, Creep at you. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. You're here. What did you miss? Not a lot. We are literally just posting on the first things yet. We haven't opened the mailbox yet. So you're right in at the beginning. All is good. Ah, brain damaged. How are you? Saw your whisper from earlier. That was yours, wasn't it? I think it was. Was it the other brain? I can't remember. There's, there's multiple brains. Where was it? Oh no, I haven't got it here at the moment now. It's gone. Right, let's check the mail again. Uh, more expires. It was you. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for the clarification. Um, you're going to go on another server. Excellent. See what the prices are, and then you could maybe start another um, bank goblin on, on that server. Maybe, maybe spread your wealth across several servers. That could be interesting. That's something I've considered doing myself. I'm not sure what I would do though. I'd probably want to start from scratch if it was me. If I was going to start on a new server. I'd want to start right from um, level 1 again. And I'd probably... I'd be interested... I, I remember reading about the guy who did the, um, the neutral faction neutral challenge. And I'd probably could do something like a pacifist challenge or something like that. See if I could level my way up just doing things like herbalism and mining without going through any combat or something like that. I find that quite an interesting challenge to do. Right, starting to get some gold in here. 6,000 on this lot. Let's see how that goes. Um, oh, some honourable combatants. Satin boots. That's a good one. Ah, oh, Morgan Kane, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Looks like there's not a lot else in the other 16, so let's just run through these, see what kind of things we've got. Uh, you zeroed your gold and started from scratch on a new server. Uh, have all your tailoring skill max now, plus 126 BFA enchanting in one day. That's pretty good going, uh, brain damage. I like that one. I like that. It's very good going. Did you see the gift uh, Blizzard employee gets this year? No, I'm not seeing that mushy. What is it? Speaking of gifts, here's our mail for today. 33,000, um, of which is a number of smaller enchants. And ah, these augment runes that I did through a mission have sold. That's quite nice. 
and then honorable combatants uh, mittens boots that's quite good and tone revolutions cataclysm for 9000 that's a good price quite like that is it a mug um, is in the Diablo movie oh right very nice Black Mage of Glass of One Gold 50. Oh, yeah, that's a good spot there, actually, Nori. I wonder why I'm putting them too low. I wonder if they've gone a bit too low. Let me just check my groups on those. Let's have a look whilst that's still up there, whilst I'll have a reminder. Black Mage Weave. Where's my groups for that? That'll be right down here in my tailoring. Um. Pretty clothes. We have black mage weave. So black mage weave gloves. Yeah, so the min is 114. That's quite a big difference between my crafting min, max, and normal there. Now the interesting the min buyout is 24 gold. Market value is 117. And the region is 599. So there's quite a difference there. Let's just have a look at what groups that uh, sell pretty clothes. Okay. Let's just check this operation, see what it looks like. So 24 hours, one of each, 96%. And okay, so we're using okay the maximum between either 110% crafting, 150% vendor sell, and then the maximum between DB market and DB region market and that's um, the maximum for between those. I think we need to probably have some averages in here like this one, average region market and craft minimum. That's a better one to have. I quite like this one because this group one has the 50% um, of the average between the DB market and DB region market and that's 200% of the average and that's 200% of that. So I think this one crafting minimum is quite a nice group so what I'm going to do is swap the operation over for that for pretty close uh, black mage weave and we're going to change that group operation instead of sell pretty close actually we could probably change this for all of these that could be an interesting one instead of sell pretty close I'm going to get rid of this I'm going to change it to average region and DB market craft minimum because I quite like that operation. So what would that do to my prices? Let's have a look for those black mage weaves. Let's go back down to where is it? That's leather working, tailoring, black mage weave. So black mage weave gloves there. Okay, that looks a little bit healthier. See, the minimum is now 179, which is going to be higher there than my market value, which is 117. The region sale average is actually 57. So, okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you actually met the um, neutral Pandaren guy a few weeks ago. Pretty chill dude. Oh, excellent. That's good to know. It's a treasure goblin figurine. Oh, very nice. That's the that's the gift, is it? Very nice. Just a black thing. Still, still very nice. Uh, really lucky he did a BOE farm and got some legs. It sold them six hours later with 200k. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, definitely Kripachu. Share it on either... <clears throat> Twitter or Discord, or um, it might be able to see on here. Uh, Joseph Steelen, thank you very much for the follow. I'm just going to bug all the employees now. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> you need one. <laughs> okay, so having a look at this Black Mage Weave, maybe this Min Maximum Normal isn't going to work quite so well for this because my prices are quite low. The min, the market, and the region market is quite a bit higher. 
So this doesn't account for the lower prices on my server. Probably been driven down by myself actually for that matter. But then that said, you know, it would be better to have a, um, a nice profit rather than um, any of these. So let's leave it for now. Let's see what we get. The min crafting. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was looking at, the min crafting. Um, but it was also taking into account... Oh, was it? Let's go back to it for a minute. Just looking at what we could do here. It does cost nearly nothing to make. Yeah, that's the thing, especially with the Black Mage Weave. Um, but I want to put a healthy margin on it, which is why the group operation has the 50% of DV market on there. So it's also the maximum between either 110% crafting. Maybe that should be a little bit higher. Maybe, um, let's just play with these figures a little bit. 120% there. Or 40% the average that's pretty low though but that would mean that if we go back into the groups let's just minimize these so we can get there a bit easier enchanting leather working tailoring black mage weave so we're looking at these now min is still 137 78 143 because the region market is skewing that so much higher Crafting operation is just telling me one gold for that, which is why there's such a difference, like you said. But other things, let's have a look at some of these other things like dress shoes. Um, that's a decent amount. Um, that's a decent amount. The tuxedo stuff. Well, 200, that's actually a bit lower there, actually. Maybe we do need to. Um, have a little another look at this. Yeah, I could raise my uh, mage weave price. I mean, it wouldn't do uh, do it any harm to at least have it higher. Ignore auctions below minimum. That's got set at. Uh, do a manual to one gold each. Do you think so? Okay, thank you, Kribachi. I'll have a look at that after the stream, but thank you uh, for sharing. Average DV market and DV region market average, 40% of them. Hmm. 120% crafting. Yeah, we don't really want to drive it too low. I'm going to leave it like this for now and see what we get. Um, in terms of sales and things. Um, but let's take up the what we have first. Let's collect up all of this. That's 33,000. So that's going to take us up to a grand total of 387,000 gold. So let's post on the things we have. Run a post scan of those. Then let's have a look what else we've got that we could be doing today. So, thinking PvP, at least one mark of honor would be good then. Uh, greetings, Ignis, how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. I'll make sure I check jumps. Yes, I do keep on forgetting those. I haven't checked my other characters, so it'll be worth going through those a bit later. Let's post everything on. Actually, let's check through the characters straight afterwards and then we can make sure that everyone's got something posted on. Uh, managed to sell a ball speed enchant for 15k. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ball speed, I think, is one of the ones I don't have. I think I've got one of, one of the ones that's speed. I can't remember which one it is that I tend to have on. It doesn't sell very frequently, but still, 15,000 is a very nice price for something like that. I mean, I guess people wanting all the bonuses for their alts will will work. Um, uh, good evening, uh, Hooks Neighbors. Sorry, I missed your um, 
missed you coming in there. Have I ever sold one of the cobalt items, armor items? I don't know what they are. Is that tailoring? Cobalt? Or is it leather working? Sounds like it would be leather working. Right, let's get everything on first. It's blacksmithing. Aha, right, okay. Yes, I don't have um I don't have any blacksmiths at the moment, so it's not a profession I've yet I yet to try out, unfortunately. Hopefully in time though. Oh, you saw me post the gauntlets. Ah, oh, yes, those were probably picked up somewhere. They could have been passed on to me. I think it was... It might have been Severi who passed them on to me to sell. But I'm not sure whether they've actually ever sold. If I've still got them, then that means I haven't uh, sold them yet. Uh, let me just check my auctions. Uh, oh, we've got some stuff about to expire. Cobalt. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Gauntlets and well, they failed since last expired 41 times and the leg plates 42 times. So I would say yes, I have not sold them in we're looking at at least two months there. Probably three months. You never were able to sell them. Yes, it looks like um, I'm experiencing similar here. If anything's to go by there. Right, what's going to come off here? That's that, that. Uh, red tail loaches. We'll take those off, put them back on. Let's take everything off. Just wait for that to come through. Take the cancels off. Ah, oh, what's your review? How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Maybe have a shared appearance of a quest item or a cheap item. Good good thinking, uh, Kojet. Could be that. Um, I know that happens with some armor, doesn't it? Have and let's it do a post scan of those things we just cancelled. And what's the silk weave satchels coming on for? So, 339 for that. See, my high tool expedition bag's 5,300, but that's still good because it's 2,400 to make. And then the enchants, Northrend's looking good at 11,000. That's particularly cheap to make. Outland's one of the more expensive ones. Uh, Pandaria, there's not much of a profit margin on that, but that's okay. Crusade is quite good there. Cost uh, 13 gold to make, selling it for 2,000. That would be nice. Do occasionally get a sale of that. When was the last time I sold one? Last sold four days ago. There we go. Uh, still have a big stack of feasts on the auction house. Not a particularly large one, no. My feasts are quite... I've just got a few. I think it's just about 15 or 17 I have in my auctions. Um, oh no, I've got 15, 16, yeah, 17 of them at the moment but then my prices aren't particularly great. So we'll have to see what those actually sell for because they're not gonna sell for that, definitely. So we'll leave that for now um, until I can get my Tortolan reputation up a little bit. We we are currently just in the um, neutral stage. So um, we shall see. You only sell the stacks of 10. Ah, oh, right, okay. Do you mind moving a little around? Looks different. <laughs> well spotted, Cat. First person to notice. Yes, we did. We've completely changed it around. I'm 90 degrees to where I was last time. So we've completely moved our sofa and our dining room around, which is why you can see a bookshelf in the distance because we're on the longer end of the living room. Um, so I'm backwards. <laughs> yeah, it is something like that. The cats are completely freaked out by it though. We're going to do some decorating, so everything's going to change eventually in the background over the next month or so. It's the next room to be done. Right, what else have we got? 
Uh, ah, yes, the uh, red tail loach. Let's go have a look at those. See if there's anything we can sort out from that point of view. Let's move that over there. So, shopping wise, red tail loach. How's the Umbra shards doing, I wonder? Minimum is 149. That's quite expensive, although I do have 37 on. There's only 116 on. So red tail loaches we're looking at, I would like to sell, well for more than 55 would be ideal. So going down here to 72 would be where I'd put mine. I'll put them on here. 48 hours, three stacks. Let's post those on, see how those go. And uh, anything else we could look at. Well, let's have a look at Umbra Shards. Maybe I could stick a few of these on. 149 is particularly cheap. But 23 stacks of 10 here at 149. Okay. So that's kind of going to be frustrating. But I could go for 37 at a slightly higher price. There's 96 here. Um, it would be nice to be able to go up to the 250 mark here. That would be quite good for the market value. So, but I'd have to get at least a hundred, I think, to get a nice neat stack of it. So I'll hang on to them for now. And oh, shadowy masks. How are they looking? They're currently at twenty percent of market value. That's because they got skewed really, really high. So nine thousand four hundred is actually a fine value to have. We need to wait for that. Um, mean average of 48,000 to disappear so I'm going to come in here at underneath those because I think that's absolutely fine there um, I'll do two stacks of one post them on for that there we go that's those done I keep going down because the linen price is going down yeah basically one's going to drive the other one down so once the linen price goes down the umbra shard will go down as well what is tide spray linen doing at the moment let's have a quick look whilst we're here peeps are now enchanted um, this is the weight is for 8.1 yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what's coming out 8.1 yeah look at this tide spray linen down to 9 gold 32 and they all look at yeah, 15 stacks of 200 at 9 gold 32. My average purchase price is 12 gold 29. So that's a big, big difference in price there. There's a lot of a lot of 200s on here as well, all below my average purchase price of 12 gold. So they've really plummeted there. Lots and lots of tight spray linen, which is why those Umbra shards are going to go down. Okay. More islands and war fronts. Yeah. Um, what am I going to look forward to in 8.1? I'm not sure exactly. Um, the new tailoring things I'm looking forward to, which is why I'm going to get some PvP going on those. Um, we'll leave, I think I'll leave restocking for now. What I'm going to do is pop over and check my other characters. And then, there we go. Uh, and we'll do, oh, we need to go to our, an inn of some kind. Um thought this would be rested area anyway but apparently not there we go now we're in rested area okay so let's just run through everyone quite quickly just to see everyone's going there we are three meters past the mailbox yeah exactly it was very close to it being in rested area it's quite a nice mailbox um, to go to that one because you've got access to all the um, map and table things, which is quite nice. Ah, right one too. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your weekend been? Um, even though you have caved and been doing some PvP to buy the recipes. <laughs> oh, excellent, looks neighbor. Exactly. It needs to be done. I think if you want to do it. Uh, Sunny D, how are you as well? Been nice and quiet? Excellent. Good to know. I've had a lovely time with my family this weekend, so uh, been very enjoyable, thank you. Um, got some expires here and some gold, which is nice. 
Uh, you can just walk inside uh, behind the mailbox. You can even reach it from inside. Oh, right. Okay, Mushy. That's a good, that's a good point. Uh, elixir of major strength. That's come in there. So that's 2,154. I'll take those. I'm going to post everything back on. Now, I'm not going to bother too much with the re restocking of things at this point with my secondary characters unless we look at drums and see how those are going. Um, yeah, it's awakening is, is a boomkin. Um, he's normally just um, hanging around in his wargan form, but uh, a lot of fun. I used uh, awakening to do my Shadow Silk farm um, last Friday. So that's my preferred way of doing it because then I can use the the emerald, uh, the dream walk to then go off and back on. Um, Amok ESP, thanks for stopping by. Uh, watch my YouTube guide to some more like watching my VODs on YouTube. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Because you're very new at gold making, don't worry about that. We're, we all start new somewhere. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. I, well, if you do ever have any questions, um, me or anyone else in chat, I'm sure we'll be more than happy to answer them. The good thing about the gold making community is everyone is quite happy to share and help each other learn. So, hopefully, we can uh, all learn a thing or two. We're just going through at the moment and just going through my other characters and relisting things on. So we're going to go through, we've done Joe Awakening, let's check Irfan. Uh, Henry Barpus, how are you? Um, been buying up Shadow Silk at very low prices, I think 120 gold average. Yeah, that is pretty, that is pretty cheap. Have you then been selling it on um, Hux Neighbor or have you been turning it into shadowy masks and then selling those? I do occasionally get shadowy mask sales, not a massive amount, but I guess if the demand is there, then I'd go for the um, go for the raw silk as it was. Ah, greedy golds, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. You've been using it for the masks, okay? So here we go. Um, Irfan has sold some drums, fifty drums. So let's take those. How many drums do we have on us that we can make? Let's have a look. Leather working. Uh, drums of Fury. We can make 34. We have 60 in our bags. So not a bad amount. Um, crafting cost is 8 gold. Profits 41 gold. So let's make some more whilst we're here. And then we'll carry on and see what else we can make. Good to get some gold coming in on the alts, though. Nice to see that coming through. I haven't really focused on them at all since BFA came out, so they've literally just been throwing on whatever stock they have, and I haven't really been bothering to restock much at all. That's why I keep nagging about it, absolutely. Well, it's a good one to do, so thank you uh, for your persistence, Mushy. You eventually get me get me through. Uh, ah, Masonic Plague 15. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, different snack sizes would be good. I don't know which ones I've got going at the moment. I think it's five and ten, definitely. I don't know if I've got singles going on. So let's do another seven there. We'll check our group whilst that's going. So we go into leatherworking, not mountain drums, uh, drums of fury, group operations. So we've got 20s, 10s, and 5s. We're doing those on. Uh, yeah, 5, 10, and 20. Yep. So we do have those. So that's good. Okay, we've got everything. Let's go post this lot on. Run a post scan on those. And then all the other bits and pieces, we can pop those on. 
At least we got 6,000 uh, gold now. Who was it? It was, um, we were buying with El Morty that had, uh, <laughs> there we go, 20s, 10s and 5s. El Morty had the, um, all his gold spent by buying things like Spirit of Harmony or Motes of Harmony. So we'll have to check, hope he gets some sales and can up his coffers a little bit. We might have to send him some gold actually because I don't think he even had enough gold to relist his auctions. Poor fella. Let's see how we get on with this lot first. Um, 6,000 gold is quite nice though so we'll we'll keep hold of it on these characters for now. I'm not going to bother sending them over to Samadan. Might as well keep everything going. I'd like to get Samadan all rounded out and uh, a bit more sort of complete in the game before I start moving on to my other characters. So let's go on to said El Morte. Where are you? Uh, next one. Now Bridget I could probably do with as well because she's got all my fish and chips. So she could do with coming through and posting a few things on. Let's see how we get on though with the next lot. Right, okay, so El Morte, you have three gold on you. Okay, let's see if we can fix that up with posting some things. Let's just run ourselves over to the auction house. What can we post on to try and get some sales? I don't think we've got anything in the mail. Have we? Let me just check. Yeah, the mailbox is clear. So we'll just post on whatever we can. We'll run a post scan. Three gold isn't going to get us very much posted on. Living steel could be an interesting one. Let's look at the deposit costs for these. If you make that happen, I know you have to play it. Uh, do quest to make gold uh, to list the stuff. Yeah, I like that idea. That's the kind of thing that I would do is basically go, right, okay, well, you've spent the gold, you've got to make it now. What have we got that we think might sell? Because the deposit cost on a flask of stone blood is three gold. What would be a good thing to maybe make some gold on? Living Steel would be a good one. Um, let's go through and skip a few things. Uh, skip that. Purification Potion, that's only 9 silver to put on. Greater Healing, no that's not going to really do much. Uh, Lion Strength. Indestructible, Detect Undead. Mighty Agility, Detect Demon. Well, that's zero, so we can post that on. And that's zero. Oh, it's not zero. Oh, interesting. So the deposit cost was zero, according to TSM, but in reality, it wasn't. Okay, so I don't get round to doing my living steel. Okay, interesting. That wasn't quite the zero that I thought it might be. 21 silver for the living steel. Is that true? Okay, we'll do that at least. That leaves me with 11 silver. Can I do a... No, 10 gold for a river's heart. Wow, that's expensive. It's never zero. Yep, I got fooled by that one, Kojak, definitely. I know not to trust it now. Okay, well, we've got a couple of things on. Let's look at my auctions. I have at least a living steel on. If that sells then I can make some more gold. The other thing I could do is, what I would do with this character, is I love going over and getting loads of ghost iron. Yeah, the mats are super expensive, it would seem. Um, the other sort of things, where are we? We are currently fishing quests. We don't actually have anything quest-wise to do here on this character. 
What level are we at the moment? Um, level 84. So we should be in Pandaria somewhere doing something. Um, I'm not going to get distracted by doing this now. I'm going to come back to Samadan. But that could be a little fun excursion. Let's carry on. I think it was buying some... I ended up buying some temporal crystals for Samadan and forgot which character I was on. And so I ended up just literally spending all his gold and I couldn't work out why TSM wasn't working until it was kindly pointed out to me in chat that I didn't have any gold left. Uh, Clyphin and John Crichton, how are you all? Uh, how are you both, sorry. Um, I hope you've had good weekends. How are you? I've already said how are you. There we go. Unspent talents, we'll ignore that for now. What have you got in the mail? Uh, Winchester CTR, how are you? Thanks also for stopping by. Hope you've had a good weekend. Right, so this is... What have you got? Oh, yeah. We have a load of Mondazi. We also have a load of Swamp Fish and Chips. Now, my crafting cost is unusually high here at 78. I think I'm probably going to have to swallow that up because my slimy mackerel cost is super duper high at 78 gold. It shouldn't be at super... Uh, that kind of price because slimy mackerel is actually quite cheap I believe now I'm probably better off sending this to Samadan to deal with because then I can check the mat cost through my cooking so let's post this on um, let's send to Samadan Uh, cancel that. I think that's all of them. There we go. Okay, we'll leave those with Samadan. And the rest of you can stay there. We'll leave that. Log back out. Um, yeah, <laughs> spending gold doesn't. On one character, it doesn't, I mean, I could easily send it to another character, but it's, uh, it's a bit of fun just leaving it on El Morte to see how he does. Uh, there's a small little add-on called uh, No It's Not, and it removes the PvP uh, pop-up. Oh, okay. Thank you, Right One Two. You've got lots of uh, handy add-ons uh, suggestions for me. Thank you for that one. No It's Not. I have to try that one out. Doesn't bother me too much that coming up. Right, okay. Actually, saying that, it now does pop up. New PvP talent is available. I don't know what I've got available on here. Strength of Soul, Searing Light. I think I quite like those ones though. I'll keep those. So you just pop that one in. Yeah, I might. I might have to do that one. Um, having just seen it pop up on Samadan. So one of the things I wanted to do, I need to increase my reputation with 7th Legion before I can carry on this war campaign. I need to go here to the front. There's a quest here that I need to do. And I need to do some PvP. So let's have a look. Let's, let's get to it on a small amount. And then head over this direction. I need to pick up this quest whilst I'm here and um, speak to teleport to Stormguard I need you to see the Arathi Highlands the battle has died down for now but when it flares up again we'll need you on the front okay she maintains a portal directly to Stormguard she can help you okay so I'm gonna need that um, did I get it sort of oh good point can yes um, let me just double check that we did at least get the bare minimum ones done. Um, power shield, penance, and shadow mend. Um, we also needed an alt click for the other ones, which was power word radiance, um, which I think should be right click. Um, power word radiance. That would be a good right click one. And 
What else is a good spell to have? Prayer of Healing isn't a spell that I have, so I'll get rid of that one. Yeah. That's the main one, really. Um, and I might even do... What I might do is... Let's do Pain Suppression. These are kind of uh, utility-ish. I need two P's for that. There we go, Pain Suppression. And I think also, um, that other one I just saw, one of these two. Um, Fantasism or actually this one's quite a good one. Dread Aspirant's Emblem. Can I do that? Alt middle button. Um, dread Aspirant's Emblem. Aspirants. Aspirants. R A N T. There we go. Item. So the middle mouse button. Alt middle mouse button will do this to give me an HP boof. Boof. Boost. Okay, let's try that. Now, do I need to save this? Um, operation mode. No, we don't want that. Move that down. Um, Hunters, thank you very much for the follow. Um, oh, what have we missed here? Um, no worries. Um, if you've seen the person on Reddit made a cooking BFA spreadsheet. Oh, thank you, right one too. Let's just click on that. That's going to be worth a look at. Spreadsheet about BFA cooking. Um, lovely. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll have a dig into that later. Um, Midrak, what did you do? You sent a blood feast amount today uh, to your alt and received a BOE 125k instead. That's interesting. I wonder what happened there. Uh, tools, sand disk. Um, can I save this just to make sure? Sam disk. Make the selected profile the default for all new characters. No, we'll just keep that. We'll save that. Successfully saved profile. I don't think I did that before. Right. So, with that done, we can probably attempt some PvP. So, let's do... Group Finder. Player versus player. Random battleground. Uh, a new brawl in two days. That's going to be an interesting thing. I would like to try this because um, I haven't done one of those before. Um, join the battle for that. So where was this quest? There was a quest you were talking about. Um, that's something else as well. To the front. Where do we need to do this? That's over here. In Arathi Highlands. Okay. I haven't been to Arathi in a long time. Where even is Arathi Highlands? Is it Hillsbred? No. There it is. Knew it was somewhere nearby. So you can go check that out at another point. What else have we got in... We've got world quests we can do. I did one already. Um, we also have Champions of Azeroth. We also have Storm's Awake, which gives me a 310 hands plus. Now, I already have hands on myself because I'll use some of my mittens of the Harmonious, which are 310. Oh, there we go. Battlegrounds started already. So let's pop into here. Ooh. I don't remember doing this one. Um, what do we got to do here? Let's have a look. Looks like everyone's getting ready to go. What do we need to do? Uh, Shift M for the map. And okay, so we've got okay, lumber mill, farm, gold mine, stables, that that kind of thing. Okay, done that before. 
that's fairly easy. So just a quick recap on my spells on Voodoo. So left is... That's Alt. Alt's left is Pain Suppression. So we have um, Power Shield is the left button. Right button is Penance and middle is Shadow Mend. That's my basic ones. And then my Alt ones for when things are a little bit sticky. Alt and right is for the Radiance. Alt and left for the Pain Suppression. And if it really goes wrong, Alt and middle. So that's six different spells I've got, plus my normal dots, which I apply with number two. And shields, which is the main one. So, okay, we'll try that out. There we go, make sure everyone's done. Oh no, not everyone's in. There you are, now you're all in. So a full group of 15. Still have no TSM for. That must be very refreshing, Ignis. Alright, 24 seconds left. Okay, how are we doing for healers? We actually have three healers, which is quite nice. One for each group. That would be nice if it stayed one for each group. Right, who should we join? We'll just follow everyone as they go. Looks like people are splitting out. So I'll hang right. Join this person. We haven't used it in a while, that's fair enough. It looks like it's just me and the hunter. And this person who's not on a mount at all, which is interesting. Where are we headed? Okay, there's the horde. There's a fair amount of them. Oh, there's a lot of them actually. Let's see if I can help out with shields, shields, shields. Dot everyone, don't forget to dot everyone. There we go. Dot everyone up. So get your mind bender out as well. Oh, now everyone's in. Now I'm in. Alt. Emergency. Emergency, everyone. Shield. Shield. Psychic screen. Oh, I'm wholly locked and dead. Too many of them around for that one. I didn't even move around. That's what I forgot to do. Actually, keep moving. There we go. Oh, lockdown. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Very, very kind of you. Thank you very much for your support. Here's a whole load of Salmon and Chef's hats in chat for you to use as you like. Welcome to the Salmon Dance Court and thank you again for your support. Really kind of you. We're just currently running through a interesting PvP session. I died rather quickly. Now I must remember as soon as I cut through, put my hat on, and then we can enjoy. Take a chill pill. <laughs> interesting. Alright, looks like everyone's over there. Everyone's spread out. <clears throat> now, where do we need to go? It looks like there's too many horde over there. So I'm going to head over this side instead. It would seem better to go this way. I think. Uh, been watching my streams on YouTube, uh, having a great time. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Uh, lockdown. Really appreciate that. And it looks like everyone's in the middle here. Oh, well, it looks like there's some interesting stuff going on over here. So let's head over this side. This seems like a better way to... Everyone's in the middle over there. But everyone seems better placed here. Are there any horde around? We're just holding this one at the moment. Okay. That's fair enough. Let's make sure everyone's got their buffs. 
Can't see any other Horde players over here, so let's go head into the middle. Looks like everyone's doing the main combat in the middle here, so let's go join in. Mines, where are the mines? This is Blacksmith. There's a lot going on here. Let's help out. Oh, missed the person who was dying. There we go, let's get everyone shielded. And everyone else dotted up. Get some penance going and some shields. Alright, okay, we're doing alright there. Now where has everyone gone? Let's keep an eye on things. We don't want to abandon this just yet. But it looks like there's a whole load going on over here, so let's go join them up. Everyone's over on the farm. Okay, let's have a look. What can we do here? A dot. Another dot. Shields. Shields up. Penance on. Make sure a psychic screen comes in there. A whole load of dots. that down, make sure I'm healed. Pain suppression, penance on myself. There we go, a little bit higher. Being holy locked doesn't help. Shields up. Dot everyone else, otherwise I'm not very effective as a uh, discipline priest. I was almost to say shadow priest then. The main thing really is to make sure I'm doing damage Otherwise it just doesn't work, all my healing. There we go. Everyone's done. Right, where to next? Mines? Okay, let's mount on up. And then we can go and join in. Ah, looks like people are going up this way. This is the lumber mill. I wasn't expecting to be here. Aha. That's doing all right. Do we need to do anything or just stand here? Seems just standing here works. Then we move on to the next one. Hopefully. Oh, I'm not going to fly down. Looks like something else is going on down here. I can see some more activity. Let's go join in. What have we got here? There's one. There's one. Let's get some shields going, shields going, make sure I run round, make sure I get some dots going, keep them refreshed. Doing okay so far, okay. Everyone okay, everyone happy, make sure everyone's got a health buff, and then we can head on back. Which way are we going now? Lumber mill perhaps? You can see Horde over here in the distance, everyone else has gone a different direction. Let's see if we can help out at the blacksmith. Yeah, they've just helped out there. Let's get mano a mano feared on this one. Just keep myself going. There we are. Oh, plenty of help coming in now. We're doing all right. Keep you healed. Let's get you buffed up. There we go. Everyone's helped out with that one. That's much better. There we go. Still in combat, so can't help out there. Now we can. Let's have a look. What's next? Um, 
Where's everyone spread out? It's just the lumber mill we haven't done. Let's head over this way. Oh, here comes someone. A warlock it would appear. It's gone off somewhere. Invalid target there. I think I might just hang out here for a minute. See if there's anything else we can help out with. Enjoy the view. There is everyone. Yeah, there's combat going on over here. Let's go help out there. They're done. Aha, everyone's over this side. I see them all. I get here quick enough. Let's just make sure I can do some damage. Some psychic screams, mind bender, dots, dots, dots. Oh, rooted, that doesn't help. Uh, lots of damage, including on myself. Stand here. There we go. Everyone helping out. Lots of damage going on. Just keeping an eye on all the health bars, penancing people. Having and dotting whilst I have spare, and then keeping an eye on everything else if I need to. I'll throw in a psychic screen. Ooh, a bit of damage here. You need some help. You need some help. Penance. There we go. Help you out. Penance on you. Shield on you. Shield on you. Dots on the enemy. There we go. And then make sure everyone's okay. Looks like they are. Oh, someone over there. They can have a dot. I can do my uh, debuffs as well, actually. Don't forget those. Hey, Agent Rusky, how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. Doing very well here at the moment. Enjoying a little bit of PvP to get some marks of honor hopefully we're almost there a few more and we're there out of range there you are. and there we go oh what did we get strong box 40 conquest mark of honor and an arathi basin victory so how do we do on that one let's have a look at healing done we did an okay amount, 817,000. Not as good as a couple of my fellow priests here that did uh, a fair amount more. And also um, 334,000. They also did really well in damage as well. So that's something to aspire to, definitely. Bases assaulted. Honor gained 864. No. Oh no, 1,202 honour. Okay, so I must have been in the thick of it there in terms of honour and helping out. Interesting. Okay, I'll leave the battleground. That was a nice learning experience. So, that should give me another mark of honour. So, Shift M to get rid of the map. Bring my quests back. And then we'll have a look in our bags. What do we have? So a steel strong box. Right click to open. We receive the mark of honor. And I've also got a champion's strong box, which gives me a third wind potion. Restores 50% health, only usable in battle crowns. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think that's the sort of thing I would probably end up using myself though. So I wonder if I would sell that. 82 gold seems reasonable. Let's have a look at the market. How many of they are on? There's only two of them on. It's not soul bound or anything. So I wonder if that's something someone would buy. Have let's have a look. To trade. Needs to be at least two Third wind. Uh, let's go to shopping. Let's do a search for it. Third wind potion. 
Okay, so it is 173%, so it seems reasonable. Let's go in uh, to the base price and put my maximum amount on. Stack of three, post that on, and see if we can get a sale from there, you know. You 240 you gold is 240 gold in that case. If I can sell it for that. And two marks of honor currently, which is also good. So that's a reasonable position to be in, I would say. So, what else do we have quest-wise? Um, we had emissary-wise, yes, we had a look at that, and that wasn't going to help me out too much with a 310. And world quest-wise, uh, thinking reputation now, so Tortolans is the main ones I want to think about here. I need to think about what could give me Tortolans. I think I did a couple of them already. Oh, there's one. Uh, the Shell game. That's an interesting one. We could try that. Anything else? Um, I did actually do a um, Turtle Made It Into The Water earlier this morning, which was really good fun. That was my first experience of it. So that was pretty cool. Do I have the Arathi portal up? I'm not sure if I do actually. I need to speak to um, someone. May I want to use a rep? Oh yes, rep contracts. I hadn't done those. Um, do I need to be friendly first before I can use it? Because currently with Tortolans, I'm not quite there yet. Character wise, we are at reputation. Tortolans were still at neutral. I think I need to be at least friendly before I can start using it. That would be my next thoughts on that front. Yeah, it is friendly. Okay, thank you. Uh, but good good call, um, never need one. Well, let's have a think. Uh, what else? Well, we can hopefully get some reputation up from this point. So, where are those world quests? Uh, where was the shell game? That was down, that was here, the shell game, in Stormsong Valley, that's up here, right, okay, let's go do that whilst we're here, let's head on over, my young Brutosaur, if we can make it through everywhere, and then we can fly on up, I've not done the shell game, I'll have to see what that is. Um, shell games all the way up here. I've still got a whole load of stuff to do down here. Let's start off with this one up at the top. There we go. On your answer for the taunts, you gave up on the, the beach hands. You just do the shell games and make lower go. Yeah, the lower one's a good one. I like that one. Uh, just for the recipes now. The main has long been exalted. That's a good, good um, position to be in. That's where I want to get to, certainly. Um... The Arathi Rares can drop 340 gear. Yeah, okay. So I do need to go head over to Arathi. Now I need to speak to... I don't think I've got the portal um, for it open. I wonder where I can do that. Oh, it's a match memory game. Okay. That should be interesting then. What else have we got nearby? That's Azura Armour. That's rewards of gold. That's war resources. And I think we've got something else Tortolan around here. Yes, there's another shell game down in Tiergard Sound, right down the other end. Okay. Oh, it's over by the ship, the mission ship, down the ramp. Okay, thank you, right one, two. I'll have a look at that afterwards. We'll go do a... We'll do this... Uh, world quest and then we'll head on down and have a look but Arathi Rares could be an interesting one I haven't tried that yet not familiar with it we'll have a look alright so shell game shell game where are you you're up ahead Ideally, I would have had... Oh no, here it is. It's just here. Over the years. See if you can match them. Okay, we don't need that. 
Let's have a look. What have we got? I am ready. Oh, right, okay. Um, so, let's start with one randomly, I guess. Um, what have we got? That looks like a blue thing and a red thing. And sharks and a turtle. That's new. Oh, red thing. That was there. And there. Okay, what's next? That I don't recognise. Ah, shark's teeth we have. It's here. And there. And then that I don't recognise. That's a cr pirate crab. Ah, the turtle was down here. Could do that one. What else have we got? Ah, that was here. Could take that one. And then we're left with that. Oh, that's an interesting one. And there's the pirate, so we can do the pirate here and here. That's an easy one. Uh, that one was down here, so we'll take that one. That leaves me with this two, which is that one, and the weird one we had at the very beginning, which leaves these two, which is that one, and that one. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, it's a good game for us older folks over 30, keep the answer on way yeah definitely, I enjoyed that one any kind of puzzle is good well that was fun, definitely who said gaming isn't healthy, indeed we got um, 193 reputation from that so we're getting closer we're getting closer the other thing I need to do, uh, this was Storm's Wake. What do we get for Storm's Wake? We get um, 310 gloves. Oh, it says 310 plus. So I wonder what um, item level I need to be to get higher than 310. Probably 310, I imagine. Uh, do I have a tutorial on how to use TSM to repost post items on the auction house all at once? Um, well, I guess, Hunters, that's kind of what you use for your groups, really, is to, um, if you set your items into a group, then you will be able to post them all using the scroll wheel macro. And that's kind of like the core of TSM. I mean, I do have, if you haven't checked them out already, I do have my YouTube guides, uh, which are, there you go, I've posted a link in chat. If you've not checked those out already, those goes through, especially, I think, part two goes through setting up groups. That's where the um, the the main part of TSM um, setting up the groups is the main thing, and then posting things on, putting items into groups and posting them on is covered by that. And then I go into various other things in the various other ones, but that is the core of it really. Um, but beyond that. Um, Yes, it's all it's all about sort of um, putting all your items you want to post in a group, and then you can post them on quickly and easily. So I'm going to go and do. We have another one here for Tortolan Seekers. Here it is, the shell game down here. That was in Tearguard Sound, so we can probably let's fly to that one as well. We can enjoy. What's that there? That's the flight master, is it? Interesting. Scroll of flight. Okay, we want to head down here. I don't have a flight path here. So the closest we can get is going to be one of these. That gives me a 295 um, wrist wraps. And what's that there? That's has a right power. And that's as right. Okay, we'll leave. We'll go here, I think, and then we'll head on over. That should be the easiest. Oh, take a boat. Yes, sorry, I hadn't thought of that. Um, interesting one, right one too. I didn't know there's a flight point over there. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick bio break and I'll come back whilst I'm flying.
Right, there we are. We're back. Uh, a lot of your aunts don't have flight points, so take the boats and water mount all around to get the flight points. That's a really good idea, actually. I don't have a water mount, so that's something I need to have a look at. See if I can get myself one. Oh, there is a boat there, isn't there? I do forget about the boats. I don't think I can get a boat from here. So let's just have a little run from here. Strider for the water mount. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten one one of those. I don't even know how to get one. I have got my angler fish, which is quite nice. Um what have we got over here? Is that a whole load of fishing pools? Yeah, three in one place. Frenzied Fangtooth, Lane Snapper, and Lane Snapper. Okay, interesting. Don't think I need any of those ones. So let's just go and swim over here. Let's go have a look. Oh, it's Pandaren Fishing Rep. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done Pandaren stuff, so that's where I'm missing the reputation. Um, one, you can do the Pandaren Rep with uh, Nagel, or you can do the fishing um, in Garrison Way. Okay. Or well, alchemy yourself some water walking pots. Oh, yeah, there's also that. I uh, want to head here, and then we want to head south. Uh, let's just find the arrow so I can follow that. So there's a few, there's a few options there. Let's head this way. Do enjoy the scenery here. Do I want to go this way? Across the bridge. And then I want to head left. What's this one? Great sea catfish. That's always quite useful to get, I think. Um, it looks like some enemies over there, though. So let's ignore that one. Fizz Springs Resort. Let's carry on, and where have we got to go? Up and over. Um, there are two. Ooh, look at that. Raging Swell. Interesting. That's a rare of sorts. Where are you? Let's just ignore that. Right, where are you? You're not going to be up at the top, are you? Oh, you are. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Nice view. I like it. Just imagine what you're going to be able to do when you can fly around here. You and your Highland goat. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Right, do the same things we did last time. Start here. So we've got the little roboty one and a turtle then we've got the pirate crab and the blue thing and then that well there's the pirate crab that's that and that uh, always glider off that see how far you can get <laughs> that's a nice one. Oh, we haven't seen the red thing yet oh, there it is that was lucky and I haven't seen one of those yet Ah, there's a turtle. Now, a turtle, I think, was this one. And I don't think I've had that yet. Now, there's the shark. So we can at least have that one. Take that out of the equation. And then that leaves us with that, which was down here. And then leaving us with that, which was, I think, the first thing we saw. And the last two are going to be that, which I believe is up here. And these two, this one, and this one. That's another 192 rep. We're almost there to friendly. How much have we got left? Another one of those should do me. I don't think there are any more. I need to have this listed by Tortolan Seekers. We could always go across the other side. To Zandalar. What have we got here? Champions of Azeroth. Seventh Legion. Seventh Legion for those. That's all Seventh Legion. I have been here earlier. That's why I don't think there's anything new. There's the other World Quest listy thing, isn't there? Toggle World Quests. 
I wonder if we have to put them in a list. Uh, oh, there's one. Tortolancy is beachhead. That's the one, isn't it? That's the... <laughs> now, how do we get across here? We need to go to... the ship person. So let's take a hearthstone. That should do it. And then what we need to do is speak to the lady about getting a ride over that side. Now I've got to remember which way I need to go for that one. Okay, out we go. Let's go join this up. Um, we, whilst we're here, we need to look at that Arathi Highlands portal thing. Let's go head on over. I'm going to just go jump and use the rope. It's easier. There you are. Now, where was the Arathi Highlands? Was it actually, you said down the ramp? Is that actually inside down the ramp? Is it inside, inside? That would be cool if it was. No, outside. Okay. Hold on. No, I'm lost. Where's the stairs gone? There they are. No, they're not here. Let's go round. And round. And round. And up. Confusing stairs. Okay, outside. Um, you prefer the World Quest list? Yeah, I think uh, brain damage. I might have to swap over to that one. To the left. Seventh Legion Emissary. Um, down this ramp. Uh, I don't see a portal yet. Uh, oh, here you are. Portal trainer. You're sparkling. Hello. Send me to Arathi Highlands. Okay, let's do this one first. Be let's check this one out. So we must do the quest, I imagine. Okay, well, let's get this one sorted. We're ticking things off in the list, which is really nice. Ah, Arathi Highlands. Where are we? Just here. Portal to Baralas. Oh, that's quite cool. I've never really done this before. Arathi Highlands. There's the quest person. So let's go have a look. Where are you? Yes. Uh, glad you can make it. Let's make this quick. Okay, the horde haven't been attacked for a while. Neither have we. Should be safe. Watch Will and Tully. I'm really going to get some bell. Okay. Where are you? You look like you're around here somewhere. Grayson Bell. What can I do? Says so you could give me a tour of the area. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's a tour. What do we have? Doing it for the first time. Yeah. Trying to look for groups sometimes easier. Okay. So you want handy notes to keep uh, track of rares. Okay, thank you, Fen. So what do we have here? Uh, while going far, I just want to point out some of the spots where we've been dealing with horde attacks. Okay. Over there to the east is a circle of elements. Okay. Big stone totems, elementals, huge stone circles on the ground. Shamans love it. Um, over here, there's a farm. That must be over here. Okay. Um, okay. That's enough. Let's bring it back down. Well, that was quick. And you can fly as well. Yes. Ah, oh, you can use a flying mount there. Yes, because it is in Eastern Kingdoms, which is nice. Uh, so getting the rares here would be nice. I wonder what we could do. Uh, handy notes would be good. Because there's one here. Doom's Howl. So what else do we need to do? Let's check in on everyone whilst we're here. Uh, let's go have a look. It feels good, most definitely. 
Here we go. He wants to do doom every time he's up. Okay. There's something like 24 rares to kill uh, twice a month. Oh, okay. Should we go and do this doom thing first? I wonder. Doom's how. Let's go have a look. Let's go find this. Let's explore. Uh, uh, buy a seal for extra... You have a bonus roll. I don't think I have those seal things. Look, let's do this first and see how we get on. I'm happy just to give this a go for now. I'll learn as we go. Look, there's a rare there. Kovork. There's another one there. Okay. I see. I see. Lots of rares. Okay, here we go. Where is it? Um, Doom's Hal. Hit that one. Alright, we need to use our proper quest finder thing. Um, this one. Find group. Doom's Hal. Well, there is only one. That's Healer. We'll join in. Horde forces have assembled another Azerite powered war machine. Destroy it before they can use it to decimate Stromgard. We've got three of us. Okay. Um, you have a chance to get 340 pound gear from Raz. Okay. Decent amount of 340 FX. Ooh, this is going to be useful then. So there's just three of us, two healers and a tank. That should be enough. What could possibly go wrong? He's only got a few hit points. Hopefully some more can come on. <laughs> this is a raid boss. Well, we should be fine then. Oh, we've got a DPS now. Absolutely. Everything we need. <laughs> that's why... That's why I'm... Yes, I'm being impatient. Can we do a rare while still waiting? Probably not. Let's wait. All bases covered. No problem. Should be fine. <laughs> it looks cool. I like the model whilst we're waiting. There you are. We got another one coming in. <laughs> Forty raid group lagging coming. Oh no, we've got some more coming in. How we're we doing? Couple more DPS. Looking like we're forming up. Okay. Yeah, I've got no idea how poor Mr. Potato will cope with lag. Normally is okay with rares with uh, raids. Um, Doom will solve and Horde will get out and you have to kill the captain um, and then back to the Doom. Okay. <laughs> that should be fun. There we go. More coming in. <laughs> Excellent. Always good to have more uh, more company. Thanks, thanks for joining, Lord Lux. How else are we doing? Well, we've got almost two groups. That that should be enough. Uh, careful when healing um, if ads spawn. Okay, I shall bear that in mind. I'll try not to be too overzealous with my healing. I know I've been known to click and spam my heals. Or don't heal at all except the tanks. There's another option. I feel like I should be mounted up for this.
it's interesting to watch um, groups like this form steadily, you know, sort of like the anticipation builds up, because normally with a lot of these things there's either nobody there or, or everybody's there. So it's quite nice to just see this uh, slowly get slowly get built up. Uh, run through the tank um, if you have them on you. Okay, that's always a good one. Yeah, we've only got one tank so far at the moment. Tanks really let healers die. <laughs> it has been known. I like the variety of flying mounts, actually. That is nice. Let's join them. Uh, Resume, please. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you've had a good weekend. Just DPS, otherwise as disc. Yeah, do love being that as a disc. We've got another person in. We're still stuck at 20 at the moment. Oh, someone started. Okay. Oh, soul binding of intellect. Where are you? There you are. This isn't going to end well. I have barely any any health. I'm going to try and heal if I can. Just stay at the sides. Get a dot going on. Move out of the way. I can't keep up with the healing on everyone this quickly. No, I don't think we've got enough to carry on with this. I can try and heal, but I just don't think I can do enough healing with everyone else down. Now I've got an aggro. Yeah, that wasn't going to work really well. Oh well, that was worth a try. Too short, yeah. Going to need 20 plus still, yeah. Would have thought so, but still, interesting. Can't fly, can we? No, let's, let's run on over. Worth an attempt, nonetheless. It's a long run back. How far is it we got? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Let me just run run on in. It's an interesting world, World of Warcraft, when you have all these spirits running back to uh, to their dead bodies. Ooh, nice potato lagging a little bit there. There we go. And we're back. Might even be able to do a res. There we go. Right, everyone's got a few more people in. We have a couple of healers. That's a bit better. Probably should turn off TSM. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I don't tend to bother with it, things like that. Uh, Mr. Potato has usually been okay. I've never been a very serious raider, so. Oh, Chef's Hat, see? And Pierre. Can't raid without Chef's Hat and Pierre. Okay, so we've got three healers still, so not too bad. What did we sell? Um, it was an enchant, wasn't it? All we do is selling some of this stuff. I'll have a look. Someone says, aren't we enough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure we've got enough healing power. I would probably want to change to um, holy spec. But then I have to make sure I keep on my dots, really. Uh, 
would be enough if they all had mythic gear, possibly. Oh, looks like people are getting ready. There we go. Let's join in. Dot, dot, shield. That's a lot of damage all at once. That's the main problem. Let's try a right click. Try and keep that going. Shields, pennants, move out of the way. Keep the tank alive. Penance if I can. Dots on people would be good. There we go. Keep you uh, alive as much as I can. Then move outside of things. There we go. Right, and what else can we do? Just make sure everyone's all oh, move outside of that. Over there, you all need a shield. You need a shield. You're taking a lot of damage. There's a lot of things around now. We can dot those up. Oh, move out of the way. It's going to hurt. Move out of the way. Ow, that hurt. Heal, heal. Pain suppression was one of these buttons. Power of radiance would be useful. There we go. Get some people healed. We need the ads to go. Ads going would be very nice. It's all the swirly things in the ground that really does doesn't make things any better. Let's try and keep you alive, poor Mr. Healer. Oh, with Radiance, if we can get one going. Poor Healer, Healer's down. Too many ads. Too many ads to be able to do this. I'm taking a pummeling. There we go, move out of the way of that. Oh, with Radiance, there we go. Get some pain suppression going. If I can, keep people alive. If we can, get the dots going. That would help. Shields up, shields up. Penance. Make sure people have that. Do one of those. Try and stay out of the way. Keep the dots alive. Shields, stay out of the way of that. Shields, shields, penance. Stay on the side really more than anything else. Alright, actually so we have some damage going on now. Another dot. That would be useful. Let's get some smites going on. It'll actually do a bit of damage. Now, move out of the way of that. That's the main problem I'm having here, actually, is having to be on the move. I'm not a particularly mobile person when it comes to doing things like this. Oh, here comes the aggro of the extras. Move out of the way. Get some shields coming on. Oh, you're taking a big hit. Help you out a little bit if I can. Dot everyone else down. There you go. Shields up. See, I think Discipline Priest is terrible when it comes to keeping on top of everything and being able to do damage of everything all at once and keep an eye on things. See, I need to be out of the way of that. That's going to hurt. I really need to be out of the way of that. There we go. Try and help heal that healer. Everyone seems to be struggling at the moment. Get some shield as I run through. I want to be out of that area, really. There we go. 
Ooh, I thought I was PvPing for a minute now, just a psychic scream. That was completely not useful. Okay, reapply my dots. Get the shields coming back on. There we go. Shields on. Penance is where I can. Keep poor Lancaster healed. I'm burning, which doesn't help. Powered Radiance is always a good one if I can get that going. Dots. Dots. Dodge. Shield. Dot. That's the dot. There it is. There we go. Hey, nice one. Well done. Congratulations, everyone. People with Mythic Gear would have done this on Reese that day. Yeah, definitely 1% mana. Well, that was good fun, nonetheless. I enjoyed that. Had to concentrate quite a lot for it. But, very good. Very nice. I don't think we got anything, did we? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a bad idea. Hold well on. <laughs> don't go in the middle of a group of things. Because <laughs> that's going to hurt. Okay, now we've got to run back. Watch where you're standing before you leave the group. Top advice then. Now I have to run back. Oh. <laughs> yes, up. up time has taken me to midnight. Thank you, Mushy, for the uh, heads up. Um, why isn't your Better Switch TV not showing the amount? That's a strange one, I don't know. I don't use Better Switch TV myself. Um, but I don't know if I have to, I don't think I have to do anything to, um, to apply it, do I? Yes, just turn midnight for me, because the clock's changed for us here in the UK. I'm not sure if it's turned, uh, for everyone else. Yeah, we're now we're now in British winter time. There we go. Right, there's my dead body. Let's accept that. Pop my chef's hats back on. Oh, on the no November the fourth, they changed you. Oh, interesting. All right, let's pop back here. We also have to do the tests, uh, tests quests. Let's do these before we think about anything like rares and stuff like that. I don't think we'll have time to do them all, but we'll do the um, we'll do these ones. Just do the little tour. Um, where are you? Are you inside? Must be. Let's have a look. Yes, that would explain it. Although I was I was beyond um, <clears throat> I was a little bit after ten when I started. Right, you must be here. Yes, there you are. Uh, Twenty-four rares. Yep, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be doing those. Um, okay, check on Foreman Tully. So we go back. It's possible to make twenty k per hour, for example, sitting on the auction house and creating stuff. I would say. Most likely, it all depends on your profession, um, which hour you'd be doing something. Um, I mean, 20k per hour is a fair amount. It all depends on what you're doing and what you're making, and are you having fun? But everything's possible. It's all about knowing your market and knowing which professions you want to do, and whether there are any sellers on at that particular time. You may not make that gold straight away, but once it's on the auction house, <clears throat> Excuse me. You will make money eventually. Alright, what else have we got? A lumbering Leo. <clears throat> um, enchanting and jewel crafting. Jewel crafting I don't know much about. Um, 
but I do hear it is uh, quite good. As for enchanting, yes, if you've got the rank threes, you could possibly make some money, but um, for me at the moment, enchanting is not looking very profitable with BFA enchants, but I'm still making a little bit of gold. See, all these are negative at the moment. I am still making a little bit, oh, these are actually quite good at the moment, um, stalwart and quick navigation. Um, a lot of the old legion and below enchants are still working well for me. Oh, what did I miss? Um, take time to get professions. Also depends on your server. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just testing your remote again. <laughs> no worries. Um, hey, Kuturas, how are you? Yes, I am literally towards the end, but thank you ever so much for stopping by. Ah, oh, that one works. There you go. Um, oh, really? I didn't realise that there, Daniel. I didn't realise I had to actually um, enable certain emotes. I don't have better Twitch TV, so um, that could explain why it doesn't work. I don't think I've actually looked into it. Um, what was the last thing I was doing? Handing these in, I think. Thank you, Kajuris. Um This video will be up uh, Tuesday, I believe. Uh, oh, missed. Overshot. There we go. Okay, so we've done that. Complete that. Uh, unlock the following. Warfront, the battle for Stormguard. Okay, so let's be back for now. Uh, we'll be in touch. The fighting heats back up again. No doubt any day now. Speak with you to return to Boralus. Okay. Interesting. Um, so that's done. And if we head here, where are you? Oh, there you are. We can get ourselves set up. Um, we've got all of these to do as well. So that's going to be interesting. But we'll go back to Baralis for now. Uh, has a lot of quality of life features that are nicely adds from the default switch. Oh, right, okay. Okay, some of the emotes are global. And then you have like 10 emote slots. Um, you can choose your channel. Oh, right. I do have a quest that gives a 340 piece. Okay. That could be good, uh, Lord Lux. I'll definitely have to come back to that one then, definitely. Killing 20 mobs. We shall do that one most definitely next time. I've run out of time for tonight. Let's complete that one. Battle of the Stormguard unlocked. Aha, here we go. Now we have the uh, the portal. And then these are all the ones we've got. So those will be interesting. We can go through those next time. But for now, I think uh, my time is up. Now, I would normally be on on Monday, tomorrow. But it's unlikely I'll be on tomorrow because on Tuesday um, I'm going off to feed some big cats. Um, so I've got the day off work. So I'm not sure, I because I want to be nice and refreshed, I'm not sure I will stream tomorrow. So there's a small chance I will, but it's likely that I won't for tomorrow. So the next chance you'll probably most likely catch me will be on Wednesday. That's hopefully I haven't had my uh, hands bitten off by any tigers or lions. Which should be quite nice. Oh, Kayin, thank you very much uh, for hosting me. I am literally, literally just fishing, fishing, just finishing my stream. Um, so, um, but thank you ever so much for the host. That's really, really kind of you. But I am literally just about to uh, to finish off. But thank you, Kayin. I hope you are well. Um, how is your stream going? I saw you've been doing a lot of um, trying to get the um, all the things on all the characters, which is pretty admirable. Um, that's pretty amazing. But uh, but thank you ever so much for the host. Uh, let's see if we can pass on the love um, further down the line, see if anyone else is on. Um, who is currently, from the gold-making side of things, doing something? Um, mm, interesting. 
most people are either offline or not playing World of Warcraft. Hmm. Okay. Uh, being denied the mounts from the RNG gods. Oh well, they'll get to you eventually, uh, Q. Definitely. But glad, glad you're doing well. Um, it's an interesting challenge trying to do everything. Um, I admire your tenacity for that one, certainly. Um, I wonder if we should. Um, I'm not sure what um, Echo Wings is currently doing. She says she's doing makers and crafting. That sounds interesting. Um, or uh, I wonder what Gears Art is currently doing because he's a very creative uh, streamer, does some amazing artwork. Um, I'm not sure what he's currently doing. He's currently at TwitchCon, it would seem. Um, okay, what's Echo Wings doing? Let's have a look. Just wait for the ads to finish. Just taking a little while to come through. Right, it's actually doing crafting stuff. Real life crafting. Looks interesting. Let's, uh, oh, it's Echo's birthday bash as well, apparently. So let's send over some love to Echo Wings. Say hello, say happy birthday. Uh, it's not World of Warcraft, it's not gold making, but it's, um, it's real life crafting. Oh, and thank you, um, Triftus Twitch, thank you ever so much for this sub. That's extremely kind of you. Thank you ever so much for your support. Let's just throw in some Samadan Chef's hats for you. One, two, three, four. There we go. Thank you ever so much for your support. All right, we're going to throw a host over to Echo Wings. It's going to say happy birthday and then finish one up. She's doing a real, real world. Uh, Real world crafting. Looks amazing. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, Navate, thank you very much for the follow. We're literally just passing uh, the stream on to Echo Wings, who's not doing World of Warcraft, but um, it's her birthday bash, so I'm going to send over some love. So thank you all. I will most likely um, see you on Wednesday. Um, small chance tomorrow but unlikely so until next time have a lovely time gold making and we shall see you very soon good night and farewell